Mr. Price, can we talk about the note that you left on my car? I've studied the form of comics intimately. I spent a third of my life in a hospital bed with nothing else to do but read. I believe comics are our last link to an ancient way of passing on history. The Egyptians drew on walls. Countries all over the world still pass on knowledge through pictorial forms. I believe comics are a form of history that someone somewhere felt or experienced. Then, of course, those experiences and that history got chewed up in the commercial machine, got jazzed up, made titillating cartoon for the sale rack. The city has seen its share of disasters. I watched the aftermath of that plane crash. I watched the carnage of the hotel fire. I watched the news, waiting to hear a very specific combination of words, but they never came. Then one day, I saw a news story about a train accident, and I heard them. There is a sole survivor, and he is miraculously unharmed. I have something called osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a genetic disorder. I don't make a particular protein very well and it makes my bones very low in density, very easy to break. I've had 50 breaks in my life and I have the tamest version of this disorder, type one. There are type two, type three, type four. Type fours don't last very long. So that's how it popped into my head. If there is someone like me in the world, and I'm at one end of the spectrum, couldn't there be someone else, the opposite of me at the other end? Someone who doesn't get sick, who doesn't get hurt like the rest of us. And he probably doesn't even know it. The kind of person these stories are about. A person put here to protect the rest of us. <laughs>